Alright then, here is our next tableau. Notice we still have a negative entry in the last row, indicating that we're not quite optimal yet. So that means we need to go ahead and calculate our ratios to figure out which element we should pivot on. So we'll take 29 fifths and divide it by 3 fifths. Working with fractions, that means to take 29 fifths and multiply it by the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 thirds, which is 29 thirds, which equals 9 and 2 thirds. Likewise, we'll take 21 fifths and multiply it by the reciprocal of 7 fifths, which is 5 sevenths, to give us 3. The smallest non-negative entry then from the ratios is 3, telling us to pivot on the 7 fifths. That means we would need to perform the following row operations. Making the 7 fifths of 1 would require a multiplication by 5 sevenths. So 5 sevenths times row 2, stored into row 2. Once that is a 1, we can take a negative 3 fifths, row 2. Add that into row 1, store it into row 1. Positive 1 fifths times row 2. Add it into row 3, store it into row 3. The corresponding T84 calculator operations would be times row 5 sevenths, matrix A, row 2, stored into matrix A times row plus negative three-fifths matrix A times row two added into row one stored in matrix A and times row plus one-fifth matrix A times row two added into row three Stored it, in ma store it in matrix A. Again, you might want to pause the video and go ahead and perform these row operations. Okay, we have now come to this tableau and looking in the last row we notice we have no negative entries. So we are optimal. Remember, though, that we used the dual to solve this. Now, what that means is we cannot pull the solution from our final tableau in the same manner as we did for standard maximization problems. For the dual, we're going to take advantage of the fact that we used y sub 1 and y sub 2 for our slack variables. As it turns out, the slack variables give us the solutions to the original minimization problem. Problems that have a dual, the optimal value will be the same. In this case, the minimum value will be 18 and the maximum value will be 18. Where they occur will be at different x or y values. But here we can see in this particular problem that y sub 1, I know this is going to be different, okay, so pay attention here. On a standard maximization problem, we would look over here or take into account non-basic variables. Because we use the dual, y sub 1 has a value of 4 sevenths. That comes from the y sub 1 column, last row. y sub 2, likewise, then has a value of 1 seventh. So the solution to the original minimization problem is a minimum value of 18 at the ordered pair 4 sevenths 1 seventh. 